Hey everyone, I am Remy J and welcome back to the channel where we motivate, help, and inspire each other every week. Today we are going to be talking about focusing on your dream and process. But before we get into that, I wanted to clarify something I spoke about two weeks ago. If you all can remember making your path to success, I said that if you follow on other people's path of success, if you follow other people's ideas, that you are going to fail. But I felt the need to add and clarify that you may have the same ideas as other people. You may share in the idea of success. You may have people you look up to, but one thing you should remember is that you may follow in these people's path. We may have the same path, but we're not going to have the same pattern. And that's something that you need to remember that it's still based on your uniqueness and on your strengths and weaknesses. So while making your path to success, remember that we may go the same path, but not have the exact same pattern. That's what I wanted to clarify. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video for today. So when I say focusing on your goal and your process, I also mean to be attracted by your goals but not getting distracted by your process. These two things are interconnected and I like to call it GPBG, goal, process, progress, and goal again. Because first you need a goal, you need a destination, you need an aim before you can even move. So having a goal is really vital to starting your process. You cannot just get in the car without knowing where you want to go to because if you do that, you're going to drive around aimlessly. And same with our goals. We don't want to just be all over the place and everywhere. We want to have a specific goal to focus on so that we can make it to the place that we're trying to go to. So you have to have a goal first, then you can look at the process, see what steps you need to take to make it to that goal, to get closer to that goal. And once you do that and you start the process and doing what you need to do, then you can make progress. You can progress in your process, progress in the things that you are already doing that is getting you closer to your goals. And all of these things lead to the final goal, to the aim that you set out for yourself. I will show you guys this GPBG on one of my examples real quick. So my goal was to, my goal is to motivate, help and inspire everyone. And I had to look for the best way to do that. YouTube presented itself as a platform for people to create content and do all kinds of things free of charge. And I said, why not? So I have my goal. I found a platform that would help me push out that idea and now I'm here. Once I do that, I have to find out the process. What do I have to do to get to this goal? So I have to make videos, I have to research content, I have to record, I have to edit. All those things are part of the steps I have to do in order to bring this idea one step closer to reality. Once I do that, once I'm doing all these videos and research and putting out the content, then I can make progress by looking back at what I already did and what I need to do. I can look back and see what I need to fix and where I need to make adjustments. And this, the more I keep doing this, the more I keep putting videos out, the more I keep looking and correcting myself is what is going to allow me to progress and get better and reach my final goal and once i'm there it doesn't stop i have to keep doing it keep doing it and keep doing it sometimes i second guess myself i second guess my dreams and i second guess my ability because in the process everything just seems so overwhelming and i just be thinking like is this the right path what if i do these videos and it's not really touching people is it good enough if is what i'm putting out um sufficient enough and all these types of Things and different thoughts that come into my mind but what I realized just as you may know or hear all the time or what I read is that you should not worry about how everything is going to turn out but worry about the work that you're putting in worry focus on the work that you have to do now to make it there so don't worry about oh if this is going to work if that is going to touch if this is going to do focus and worry about and put your energy and what you're doing right now in the moment Give it your best because if you don't and you start worrying about the things like, oh, is this going to be enough or not? You're going to defeat yourself before you even try. And we don't want to defeat ourselves before we even get to try and attempt um, reaching our goals. So in this case, I had to focus on my goals and allow it to attract me. And this is what keeps me 
going this is what i mean of focusing on your goal in the sense of giving it your best and making progress now when speaking of distractions we have some differences to consider but before that we have to know that every process is going to come with a distraction and this is what i mean by focusing on your process but not getting distracted by it let's have a deeper look into that as I have mentioned, we have differences in distractions. We have eternal distractions, which are distractions such as hunger, fatigue, worrying too much, illness, and all these types of things. And external distractions such as friends and family, social media, addictions, and you name it all. I'm going to do a video where I go more into depth in these things so you have better understanding but just on the surface to know that we have internal distractions and external distractions and when you have distractions in your process which are in the way of your goals then you need to find a healthy way to deal with them or sometimes you may even have to cut off some people or cut off some things because they are truly distracted not just in that moment but for a lifetime and we don't want that we don't want anything to hinder where we're going to so that is something you should definitely definitely remember when I was in business school there was a time where I was so 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 addicted to snapchat like if anyone knows me if you were close to me you know you know for a fact that I post every single little thing and it got to a point where snapchat was like my life I wouldn't even say a part of my life it was my life I do everything on there and at some point somebody reached out to me and he was like is snapchat your life and i was like well excuse me you're not obligated to watch my story so you may bounce off you know but after i said that and i really gave it a thought at the time i really figured to myself i was thinking to myself why am i on snapchat 24 7 why do i feel the need to post every single little thing why do i feel like if i'm not on there that i am missing out on people's lives and all these thoughts were just coming to me and at the same time, at, at the time, I already repeated the 11th grade and this was my second and last chance at doing that. And it was really thought provoking for me, like, OK, are you going to let this social media get in the way of your future, of your life? And so I had to make that decision where I thought that, OK, I thought I was missing out on people's lives. But the reality of it is that the only life I was going to miss out on was my life. And so I made that decision at the time to... I did not find a healthy way to deal with Snapchat, but what I did was I had to cut it off completely. I deleted it. I deleted my account and I did not go on Snapchat from that day. And now if you see my Snapchat, it is super, super duper dry. If anything, I post my videos on there, but I am not active like I used to be because that moment taught me a lesson, not only for that period, but for my whole life. And now I'm not on there as much as I used to be. I don't live for Snapchat. So figure out if you're living for these things that are not helping you in your process, in your progress to reach your final goal. If it's hindering you, if it's, if it's taking you out of line, then you need to fix that. So I took that step, I deleted Snapchat, and I passed my final exam, and I was so happy, I was so grateful, and I started shifting things in my life, and I did get Snapchat back, but I, I tried to reduce my usage, but as I said, this is how you need to look at your process, look at, look at what you got going on, and see what it is that you need to cut out, and if it's, sometimes you have friends, it could be friends, you don't necessarily have to cut out your friends, but what you can do is that this time when you're working on something that has to do with your goal and maybe they want you to come out to party, you can just tell them like, look, this time is dedicated for this and I won't be able to make it, but this day I can come out with y'all. Or, you know, just finding different solutions and, and alternatives. You don't have to necessarily cut off your friends or not be friends with these people no more unless there are people who are discouraging you from your dreams and telling you that you can't do it stuff like that you're gonna get caught off real quick so 
and making your path to success make sure to focus on gppg and not get distracted by what comes with the process if it's really in you and it's your passion you are going to make it through and going to see where you need to make necessary adjustments and one thing you should also remember is that progress takes time so you cannot rush these things you can't rush to be perfect or close to perfect but you have to let it take time when you water a tree water a plant actually water a seed you don't just water a seed and all of a sudden you have a tree you have a beautiful flower you keep watering it and you watch it progress in its process that that process that is going on there's a progression and you keep seeing it in one day you see this beautiful tree see yourself as a tree see your goals as a seed and keep putting water in it keep going through the process keep progressing and you will get to that goal do not try to rush there don't think you're going to start and be there overnight it's a process you have to progress and you're going to reach your final destination if this video was helpful to you and you want more of this make sure to comment like subscribe share and definitely turn on your post notification to join this journey and mhi someone whenever you have the chance and again, as I said in my last video, if you don't know what MHI means, it means motivate, help, and inspire someone. So make sure you do that. I love you guys and stay tuned for next week.